Hello boys and girls. In today's class, we're going to have a look at the terms used in algebraic expressions. Now, why are these terms so important? It's important because with the help of these terms, we'll be able to understand the concept of algebraic expressions very easily. Now, we all know what algebraic expressions are. It's basically a combination of constants and variables or variables alone with themselves connected by some or all four of the fundamental mathematical operations. So if we would like to simplify this, so basically we are combining certain constants and variables or just variables with the help of these mathematical operations over here. So if we would like to frame an algebraic expression, something as simple as this Yeah, so this here is a combination of certain constants and variables. Now, what are constants and what are variables? So this for sure is an algebraic expression, but it has got certain parts to it. Now, the parts are some of them are constants and some of them are variables. Now, a constant is something that remains constant. That means the value of a constant will never change. It is fixed. So a constant is a quantity that has a fixed value. For example, in this particular example, what has a fixed value? 4 has a fixed value, 3 has a fixed value. Now the value of x and y are unknown, it could be anything. So 4 and 3 here are the constants. So the quantities that have a fixed value. Similarly, x and y. Now what about x and y? Now x and y could be anything like we just discussed. So what we call them is a variable, that means their value will vary and their value doesn't remain same. So variables are quantities whose value doesn't remain the same or whose value changes. Now since the value changes we are denoting it by these letters here that are x and y. So these are also called as literal numbers. So basically, literal numbers are those letters that are used to denote any variable here. Now, we know that there are parts to it. So here are the constants and here are the variables. Now, this is the sign that has been used to connect them together. So this is the sign that this definition here talks about. So now it's very clear what is an algebraic expression and the various parts to it. Now, every variable is associated with a constant. Like if there is no constant, we say the constant that is there is 1. For example, if we have x square plus 5p. Now, in this case, along with the variable p, the constant that's there is 5. And along with the variable x square, there is no constant. So, we say the constant that's there is in fact 1. Now, the constant associated with each variable or with each literal numbers has a name. It is called as the coefficient. So that the coefficient of x square is 1 here and the coefficient of p is 5 over here. Now, we know the various parts of an algebraic expression. Now, an algebraic expression can be like this or it could be just this or it could be this. Now all of them are algebraic expressions just that the variables used are different. That means the literal numbers used are different and the constants are of course different. Apart from that there is one more difference and what is it? The difference is that the number of terms is different. Now each term is connected by one of these mathematical symbols. So basically for example if I consider 1 and x square it has been connected by a multiplication sign but then this 1x square is the first term and 5p is the second term. So basically two terms in between two terms the signs that we are, that would be there would be a plus sign or a minus sign. So another example of an algebraic expression with two terms would be this. So this is how you know the different terms of it. Now we do not say 2 and y cube as two different terms because they are not connected by a plus or a minus sign. So here if I would like to identify the various terms this here is the is one term and 5p here is another term. So 2y square this expression has got just one term. Here this is one term, two terms and three terms. So this algebraic expression has got three terms. So now we know how to how, know how many terms an algebraic expression has got. Next we know how to find 
which are the constants, which are the variables, what are literal numbers and what are coefficients of any variable. So let's just discuss one uh, example here. Supposing if I have an example say 6xy. Now the number of terms here is 1 because I don't see any plus or minus sign and the coefficient of xy, xy is both the variables together. The coefficient always denotes the constant. Like here the coefficients were 4 and 3. So in this case the coefficient is 6. Now we, now that we know the basic terms, every term of an algebraic expression also has got certain factors. Now like we see if one term, we see one term is made up of a few quantities like there is x, there is y, there is 6 and they are multiplied together. So if I would, if I would like to factorize it, what are the factors? Now the factors of 6, x, y, 6 is a factor x is a factor and y also is a factor. These factors have been multiplied to get this term. Now 6 is a constant factor whereas x and y are variable factors. Now similarly if I consider another example, supposing we have a algebraic expression like this. Now let's have a quick recap of the various things that we have learned. Now in this case how many terms are we having? So we have three terms because this is one term, this is the second term and this here is the third term. And then the constants used are 2 and minus 3. The variables are a and b over here. Now if you would like to know the factors, now term wise the factors of the first term here a square are a and a. And uh, because a into a when multiplied gives us a square. Similarly, the factors here, there are three factors here. 2 is a constant factor, a and b are the variable factors. Similarly, for the third one, the factors are 3, a and b square is actually b and another b. So 3a, b and another b. So these are the various factors. So basically the terms that are that we have learned today are what are constants, what are variables, what are literal numbers. So literal numbers and variables are the same thing. Apart from that, how many terms are there in each algebraic expression? We now know how to find the number of terms and we also know to find the factors of each term. Like in this particular example, the factors of each term have been written separately. So these are the various terms that are used in algebraic expressions.